sonda is a wind specific to Cuyo. It is fast and crazy. So beautiful. Oh my god. Yeah. Like who would try something like this? Bro, that is so far. Everything packed up. Getting ready to go to Argentina for the summer and see what it's like. What's the plan, bro? The plan is to try to put ourselves in the craziest places possible and I want to try to film it entirely by ourselves. Do everything on our own. Sounds complicated, eh? Yeah, let's see if it's possible. Hope for good snow. The first days I arrived, it snowed a bunch, like one or two meters. As usual, the storm came with high winds. Hello, man. <laughs> You're going to ski big mountains, bro. I'm Dorian. I'm a skier. I like to climb big mountains and I like doing rock, paper, scissors to decide who goes first in the ski lines. I am Alejo. I am a snowboarder. I love being in the mountains because that is where I feel the freedom. Hey, my name is Adria. I'm a skier and I like to ski fast. I've spent a lot of seasons here with Adria and Alejo. We live in Cuyo at the ski resort and all the runs we ski are in the backcountry. Some require long hikes, and you're responsible for your own safety. Let's do it! We're constantly evaluating the snow and terrain for avalanches, rocks, ice, and other random hidden obstacles. Thanks, big homie. Have fun. See you down. This has been the biggest season in years. The most snow I've ever seen here. With that much snow, everything was shut down and I saw some of the biggest avalanches I've ever seen before.
Now we are in Chile, and I'm gonna go meet up with some friends from Black Diamond to take some photos. These are one of the biggest mountain ranges in the world. All the lines we ski are in really big mountains. The lines are all really steep and really exposed, where it's not an option to fall. If you fall, you could fall off a cliff, probably die. Me and Adria were trying to ski fast in these lines, and when you're skiing fast in these lines where you can't fall, it's really pushing it. So what we're doing is exceptionally dangerous. All right, you guys. Okay, duck. Yeah, have fun. Dropping. To film each other, I take one drone and two controllers. At the top of the line, I give the drone to Adria, and he films me while I ski down. At the bottom, he has to fly the drone down and land it to me. Once I have the drone, I can connect my controller, take it back up in the air, and film Audrey's line. Amazing, thank you, bro. Not easy, I know. No, that was so fun. Okay. I love this place. Bro, that is so far. El Cerro de Plata, ya lo puedes ver, es una montaña gigante, muy imponente. So happy. I just want to do this trip for use my track. Our project is really complicated. The face is really far away and we have a lot of work to do. Alejo's brother Jose came too to help us cook food and help carry gear. The project started in 2014 when we went to Cordon del Plata with intention of maybe trying to ski Plata. When we arrived and saw that it was still one day hike away from high camp, we decided it was too complicated of a project for that season. That year we skied the Super Canaletta, which is a really cool line, but logistically much easier. Now we're back and we know a little bit more of what to expect. Okay, now we're heading down to base camp. Okay, Sanchez. Day two. 
muy difícil la logística para llegar, llevar las cosas, tenés que subir eh, primero el equipo, después bajar, buscar más parte del equipo para poder hacer un campamento arriba. Here we are today checking the exit valley. It's like, I don't know, how many kilometers you think from the mountains here? Like 50 kilometers. 50 or more. <laughs> Once you were to drop into the face, you'd be committed to this exit valley that's pretty unexplored. I needed to get a pretty good idea of what that was going to be like. Okay, team, we are day uh, four. We're at Piedra Grande. It's a long walk to high camp, and an even longer walk from high camp to the top. Tonight we're spending the night at Campo Salto, and tomorrow we're gonna go up and give our first try going up high. Tenés el mal de altura que te da, lo que nosotros llamamos acá en la región de Cuyo, la puna que es cuando empezaba a marear por la falta de oxígeno así que imagínate que caminando es muy difícil eh, llevando equipo y esquís When we got up to 5200 meters, it was really windy Es muy complicado, es muy difícil o sea, tenés que tener mucho espíritu para poder hacer algo así it was so windy there was really no option to do anything. After a good day of acclimatization and with no other option, we headed back down to Campo Salto and then all the way back down to base camp to prepare ourselves for a really big descent. So, we came to here to chill today and get ready for tomorrow going up again. Hopefully it snows a little bit. Martin Mendoza! The snow looks super bad and I'm scared of ice. Sanchez thinks it looks pretty good. I think so, it looks okay. Going up for our last try. Here we are. Here we are. Yeah, going for the last try of Plata. Yeah. <laughs> the last try of this year. The last try of this year. <laughs> uh, okay, it must be like... It must be like, what, four in the morning or... No, the bad thing is that it's 12. It's just 12. <laughs> no. Just 12. <laughs> We've been in the tent for like, what, since four o'clock? Yeah. And it's wind. 12 and the tent is exploding, dude. This is the hurricane night. We're feeling, we're feeling so chill. <laughs> Can't cook any food or boil water, but we can eat frozen olive oil. Tons of uh, joints. Tons of joints. <laughs> Sanchez holding the wall. Un blue and test para la carta. Sonda 5000 test. <laughs> 
Luckily, late in the morning, the wind died down and it got really calm and nice for about an hour, which gave us just enough time to boil some water and eat a little bit of soup before sending it. Okay, yeah, Brolums, we made it. Another day, bro. It was super windy. Everything's fine, though. We're just sleepy. Yeah, we are just sleepy. The tent make it perfect. <laughs> Only... Only one and almost another little hole. Okay, let's head up there. pretty late because the winds were so crazy the night before. We decided to just hike as fast as we could and just try to make it anyways. When we arrived to the top of the run it was already five o'clock and I was pretty sure we weren't gonna go down. over the little corner. The only way to fully see the face is to look down it from the top. Once you drop in, you're fully committed. There's no other way to go except for down and out the whole valley. What the fuck? Stupid fucking shit. I just thought. It looks pretty good.
Oh my god. Okay, it's frustrating thing I've ever skied in my life. You see those fucking penitentes at the bottom? Christ on a cracker. It was amazing. Yeah, bro. Yeah. We made it, dude. I can't made it. Sanchez. Made it. That shit was fucked up, dude. That was super nice. <coughs> we survived. I can't believe it. This shit was what a crazy day. West Coast! West Beach! Yeah. And now we're walking all this to down there. And we have a tent and, and that's it. We have a tent. On a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> we skied and traversed until there was no more snow, then walked down a very narrow, dangerous river valley. Just as it was getting dark, I found a safe place away from Rockfall to put the tent. Here we are waking up from our beefy. Sanchez is so professional. all the way down the valley and finally arrived to the road to the designated spot where Jose was there to meet us and pick us up with the truck. He brought us each one warm beer to celebrate. Presumimos que han sido los primeros que han esquiado esa parte de la montaña, la cara este. After the Plata adventure, I felt lucky to be alive. I just wanted to chill with friends and remember what an incredible season we had just had. Can't believe how lucky we are being in this really beautiful place with our friends. I must be on. Have fun. Have fun, Darian. Yeah, see you down well. there. Yeah, homies. Going. I love being in the mountains because that is where I most feel the freedom.
¡Qué calidad, bro! ¡What the fucking quality, bro! ¡Wow! Thank you, guys. So deep, bro. Thank you.